Hi everyone, I have something very exciting to tell you. Um, my friend called me yesterday and asked me if I wanted to go on an all expense paid cruise tomorrow because the person she had invited initially, he can't go. So I said yes, and I am off tomorrow to the, Beha the Bahamas, the Bahamas, and I will be a little bit out of commission, but I will check in periodically like when we stop in Florida and things like that, but I'm not going to rack up a huge cell phone bill. That's insane. But I did pack and I went to Sephora today with a return and I'll tell you more about that later. But I wanted to I have my makeup. It's insane. It weighs so much. And I wanted to just kind of show you um, what I picked up today and what I'm bringing on the trip. So uh, I will kind of flip through here quickly. Today I picked up this set of Bite Beauty um, kind of pencil lipstick things. Um, they're they're kind of like the NARS ones except better because they swivel up which makes me very happy and I love this nude color. I like this pink, it's kind of mauve kind of up my alley. This looked a little daring for me but let's see. It's pretty and a red which I love actually, it's a nice red. So I'm bringing those. <clears throat> I have my lash glue because I am bringing some lashes. They happen to be in my other bag. Don't even ask me why. This is the glue sometimes I use if I'm using them on myself. It's okay. I really do prefer Duo, but I didn't have one up here. I have a, a pencil sharpener. I am bringing a beauty blender. The reason I'm bringing this, I'll get to in a minute. I have my Better Than Sex mascara sample. It's almost gone, but I'm trying to use it up. This wonderful L'Oreal Voluminous, I never know what this is called, Collagen, I think. It's amazing. A tiny little Too Faced primer. I have something, I really love this. I wish I would have done a, I should have done a video on it, but it's called Tarte Shimmering Lash Liner. And <clears throat> it is glitter, obviously, but it's really special because you can use it as a liner, which is fairly standard, but if you look at this, you can use it as a mascara as well, which I think is really cool. So if we're going out or doing something exciting, I will use that. I have my Too Faced Perfect Lips Pencil, which is one of my very favorites, Perversion Eyeliner. <clears throat> I picked this up today. I haven't owned this before, so I'm excited to try it. It's the NARS Larger Than Life Eye Pencil in Via Veneto, which is the black. There it is. I kind of like the idea of not having to sharpen something while I'm gone, although I do have a sharpener. I'm bringing my Rue Bonaparte pencil, which I really like, and I don't even know why this is in here. I had a phone number. This is a MAC pencil. It's kind of gray. It's pretty. I guess I'll, I'll bring it. Why not? And then in here, lipstick selection for me is always something I really kind of, oh my gosh, what am I going to bring? It's so exciting. And then in here I also have my Goss brush, a Tarte, um, Tarte blush in this color. It's called Imagined. It's really pretty. And then I've been really just loving this so very much. This is a balm, the balm blush. It's called Insta Stain in the color Toile. Toile. I have no idea how to say that to be honest. It's kind of like... I don't even know how to explain it. It's just really beautiful. So when you smudge it out, it's or you know blend it in, it's really pretty. Oops. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> one of my friends is trying to hook up her Instagram or her Fitbit to mine. If you're on Fitbit, you have a Fitbit. Let me know. If you want a good laugh, you can look at my numbers. Okay. So here are my lip glosses. Um, I have two Makeup Forever Lab Shines, a pink and a nude. This is a Gloss Prodige from Clarins in Candy is really pretty. I'll show you since I'm wearing pink. It just feels really nice. These are really great glosses. I never think about Clarins unless I'm at Macy's. I have my Laura Mercier Gloss in Pout. I know this is completely overkill, but I mean, to me, half the fun is getting ready to go out and do something you wouldn't normally do. I have my Laura Mercier, the tiny um, highlighter. And I have Dior Rose Bon, bon I don't know. It's the number 468. It's kind of a peachy pink. I love this one. Feels very summery to me, which is nice. 
I have the number 361. This is a true pink. It's really pretty. I love this formulation, by the way. I haven't talked about it a lot, but they're really nice. And this is a favorite lipstick that I never really think about. <laughs> Isn't that weird? And I saw it, and I go, oh, I'm bringing that on the vacation. It's the Dolce & Gabbana um, True Monica. And it's... It's a nude. It's just gorgeous. I don't know if you can even see it really, but it's right here. Very nice nude. So if you like a nice nude lip, that's a good one. Of course, I have my brow cake from Illamasqua. I have some BJ's wipes, which I talk about a lot. Um, this is something I haven't talked about a whole lot. This is the Shiseido Sun Protection Liquid Foundation. It's really interesting. It comes in a sort of an eyedropper. It's got a one of those ball shaker ball thing and it blend it's really liquidy and it blends in really nicely and the only reason I don't use this more is because it does have parabens and I tried to kind of kick my paraben habit but this is really nice and I can easily apply this with a beauty blender I'm not a huge beauty blender fan but for this it works really well I have my Too Faced primed and poreless obviously I've talked about that before I'm bringing the naked three I'm bringing a palette here that I love. This is the Aqua Lilies for Tarte. It's it's pretty pretty used and loved, but it's really great colors for warm weather. My NARS concealer. I picked up a new NARS blush today, so I want to share that. I also have my I'm kind of I got this on my lap. <laughs> my Eve Pearl under eye. I have what else? Smashbox powder. Oh, this is kind of important. I'm bringing a uh, brush soap, the Beauty Blender brush soap. I don't love that, but it's there. I picked this up today, and oh my gosh, I totally love this. This is going to be a new favorite for me. This is the Dior Creme de Rose, and it is really nice. It smells like rose. Obviously, I dipped my finger in it. It was clean. Um, this is a lip balm. It is amazing. It's very shiny. It feels good. It smells great. I am totally in love with this. So excited to have that. And then I have my little um, Sigma brush set. And then as an afterthought, I threw this in here. This is the original Tom Ford, um, what do you call this? Vanilla Suede. I'm sure you've seen it, but it's right there. I do have a newer one, but I haven't opened it yet because I'm trying to use this one up. I don't think I mentioned it. I am bringing another Tom Ford lipstick. This is so pretty. It's called Bruise Plum. It was a big splurge. It's right there. It's so gorgeous. So I'm bringing that. And then on the way home, I had stopped at Ulta for something. And, oh, I actually, what I stopped for was... I wanted um, nail wipes so that if I wanted to do my nails I could change it out and I picked up this um, nude scandalize waterproof eye pencil from Rimmel I can't really see it but it's a really nice nude I have it in my kit and I thought it might be good for sort of summery looks the other thing I got that I'm really excited about is this NARS blush I don't use a ton of NARS blush but I really like this color and I thought it would be good it is in Daydream. It's one of the Guy Bourdain, Bord, Bourdain, or whatever. Uh, Guy Bourdain. I have no idea how that's pronounced. I'm assuming it's French. And it's this color. It's called Daydream, like I said. And I'll show you what it looks like. I haven't tried it yet, so. It's pretty. I thought that would be good for daytime. And it's a really warm, pretty pink. So if you were on the fence about this, I would... I would kind of suggest it. I think it's pretty. So, that's pretty much everything. And then the other thing I picked up today I'm wearing right now, it's this nail polish. It's Marc Jacobs, low, what was it called? Jezebel. And I'm wearing it right now. I really love this. This formulation was has a different, you're not trying to wield this big fat thing. It does come off. And the brush was quite nice. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll try to show you. It's a good brush. Good formulation, not really fumey. Um, had that gripe about the Illamasqua polishes. They were so fumey. Blech. So this is much better, and I think it's really pretty just sitting on the vanity, so amongst all the other stuff sitting on the vanity that needs to be picked up. So anyway, that is where I packed for my trip. My trip goes out of New Jersey, 
tomorrow, and we head to the, let's see, Kate, what was it called? Port Canaveral in Florida, and then we go to the Bahamas and then something called Coco Cay. So I'm so excited. Um, if you follow my channel for a long time, you know that I've been married 15 years almost, happily married, <laughs> I don't drink, I don't really like sun, I don't go to bars, so maybe I'm not the most exciting cruise buddy, but I am excited to go see another place and um, just have a good time. So I will try my best to kind of update things on Instagram and stuff like that, but I'm really excited. Sometimes opportunities just need to be taken and I'm in such a good position right now with my husband home and my kids homeschooling, so there was no reason not to go. So it's excellent, I'm so excited. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Um, I will miss making videos this week, but I will be right back on it when I get back and I will do my 2013 favorites at that point. So I didn't forget about it. I am going to do it, it's just gonna be a little later. So anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend, like I said, and I will talk to you pretty soon. Take care, bye-bye.